excitement is mounting at Mommy's house. Mommy Mama, her stepmother, with her four daughters are getting dressed for the Princess Ball, the ball to which they intentionally forgot to invite Mommy. Betty, Mommy's kind-hearted servant, sewed her a beautiful homemade dress, and everyone agreed it was lovely. Mommy arrived at the ball and Prince Mehamemi fell in love with her at once. She was so happy this was happening to her, and she was actually Cinderella. Mommy Mama, her stepmother, spotted Mommy and threw her out of the ball. Heartbroken, Prince Mehamemi was left with a silver sandal in his possession. His loyal sister Ketty convinced him to go out on a journey in search for his loved one who had disappeared. He goes out on the silver sandal journey. Mehamemi finds Mommy and releases her from the hands of her wicked stepmother. He asks her to marry him and brings her to his palace. There, the queen's magic mirror confesses that Mami now is the fairest in the land. Malka, the queen, together with Mami Mama, conjure up a terribly wicked scheme. They ask Mami to join them for a walk in the woods, but once they reach the deepest forest, they leave her there. Mami, looking for a place to sleep amongst the trees, encounters the three kind bears who had just returned home. They are very hospitable and invite Mommy to stay with them. They also introduce her to all the creatures in the woods who become her friends at once, just like the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The seven children who lived in the woods were also happy to make her acquaintance. They promised to look after her. They were overwhelmed with her beauty, and she was actually Snow White. Although she had been left for deserted, the magic mirror continued to praise Mommy's beauty. Mommy Mama and Malka the Queen thought of a new plan to get rid of Mommy. They would poison her with an apple. Mommy fell asleep for 100 years, but the old Prince Mehamemi found her and kissed her. And everyone woke up amazed, like the sleeping beauty. The good witch changed Prince Mehamemi back to his young age, and everyone returned happily to the castle. However, Mommy couldn't fall asleep because the two mean mothers had placed a pea under her mattress to prove she was not a real princess. Their jealousy and hatred blinded them so, as it was the princess and the pea. Mommy and Mehamemi married in great splendor and adopted the sweet seven children from the forest. Even Mommy Mama and Maka the Queen were forgiven for their evil deeds. Everyone lived happily ever after until this very day, because it's all a fairy tale. We will dance and sing together In a world of harmony All my sorrows are forgotten Cause I found a family <laughs> I can barely understand how Very lucky I must be When a bear is there to hug you Everyone Surely see that we are a happy family. A lifetime experience. An experience for all ages. A professional extravaganza production. Wonderfully directed. Unforgettable music. Shining, glittering, moving, entertaining. A musical that is all a fairy tale.